Hello, 7th Grade Science. I am Mr. Rogers. And I'm Mrs. Froman. And you are watching the video notes for Section 1-3 in your book. Um, it's all about compounds that are in your cell. So we've been talking about the cell and, you know, what is it, what's inside of it. And now we're going to get down to even smaller little individual bits inside of the cell. So everything we talk about today are things that are in the cell. They're, they're much, 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 much smaller than an actual cell. They're what's inside, what make up a, make up a cell. And that's going to be the focus for today. And to start with that, I will start with what's on your screen right now. So we're talking about an element or atoms. And an element is any substance that can be broken down into, or cannot be broken down into simpler substance. So the smallest, the building blocks of all the matter on Earth. And one of those elements, we could say, would be an atom. So if I had one atom of iron, it would still be considered iron. Or if I had one atom of oxygen, it would still be considered oxygen. And so these atoms are going to work together to build our molecules here. All right, then those atoms form together to make compounds. And there's two different kinds of compounds. There's the organic compound, and those are any compounds that contain carbon except for carbon dioxide. Uh, the most important ones in our bodies are the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Then there's the inorganic compounds, and these are the compounds that do not contain the carbon. Hmm, okay. So carbon means organic. So if I see yeah. that C, right? C is for carbon. So if I yes. see a C if for you, carbon. If you see a C, it's organic. It's organic. Okay. And you think about, you know, if you like sci fi, carbon based organisms. Uh, so on, light, on Earth, we have carbon based Star Trek organisms. Yes. Coming at you. So next up, guys, are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are, we hear, you know, carbs are the enemy. No, not necessarily. But these are energy rich molecules made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So there's that C for carbon. And they make up sugars and starches. And these molecules, you need them. What are they found in, Mrs. Froman? In your cell walls and your cell membranes. So, so I need them. I, I can't survive without them? Yeah, you got to have them. Got to have them. Okay. You can see below, what what is all this? Yeah, a bunch of letters, numbers. Those are actually the... Uh, elements that make up the compounds and that would be a carbohydrate that's a, a so complex carbohydrate this whole thing is one carbohydrate one molecule molecule wow yeah. hmm so very we say when you say complex we aren't kidding there yeah, yeah. so next guys we have proteins this is my personal favorite are proteins <laughs> large organic compounds made of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur and we find it in meat eggs fish nuts beans and my personal favorite bacon <laughs> and a lot of people, you know, you need that bacon mm -hmm. because the proteins are found in your cell membranes and your organelles, and your body uses it to make hair. So you got to get those proteins. So I got to get, I might as well have some bacon then to get you my might protein. Might as well have bacon. All right. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of the eggs there, big eggs. Yeah. I've heard before they're kind of the complete protein. They got all the different have, uh, proteins you need. Yeah, all the stuff you need. Yeah. So those proteins are made up of smaller molecules, and those are called amino acids. And do we, where do we so, get amino acids from? Well, that's then we go back down to the oh, okay. elements. And, yeah. <laughs> and the last one on here was was enzymes. And enzymes, they're types of proteins, right? Right. It's okay. a type of protein. It's a specialized protein. And they speed up chemical reactions, so they make things happen faster. And I know we have not just one or several. You have hundreds of these in your body that are working all the time to keep you alive. Otherwise, the reactions couldn't happen fast enough to keep us alive. Right. So I know they're working really all the time. Even when you eat a piece of bread and it like dissolves in your mouth yeah, without even chewing. Yeah, it starts right there. It starts yep. right there. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have lipids. These are fats, oils, and wax. And another thing that people say, oh, you got to stay away from those, the fats. But you need to have fats. Um, they're energy-rich molecules made of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. And these cells store energy in the lipids or the fats for later use. So you got to get the if you're going to have energy to use you got to have some some lipids in your diet i think my bacon has fat in it too for me yeah there, so then yeah. you got a double duty there fat and your protein and then there's cholesterol and that's something oh don't bad to have cholesterol but you got to have some cholesterol because that makes up your cell membranes okay so we got to have it got to have cholesterol mm -hmm. and fat yeah and again we, we saw this before with our carbohydrates i just think with that there's Ooh. one big that's just one 
Uh, fat molecule, one, lipid one, molecule, yeah. One lipid molecule, yeah. And so we hear about the different types of fats, trans fats, saturated, unsaturated. It all depends on, you know, how these how the links are put together, made, yeah. yeah. How they're made up. And yeah. so we think about, you know, we think about H2O, water being, you know, that's a molecule. A lot of molecules mm -hmm. have dozens and dozens of different elements combined together. Mm -hmm. Next up, guys, we have our, our fourth one. This is our final kind of organic compound we're going to talk about, and it's nucleic acids. And these are large organic molecules made of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. They contain the instructions that the cells need to carry out their function. So we've talked about that, those parts before, and that's the DNA. And there's that big word I'm going to go for. So deoxyribonucleic acid. Very good. So D and A. DNA. All right. And that's that genetic material. So when you see DNA, that's that synonymous with genetic material. And then another type of kind of, I wouldn't say DNA, but another type of um, nucleic acid, Mrs. Froman, is? The RNA, and that's just ribonucleic acid. And this is the part of the uh, nucleic acids that help produce those proteins that your body needs to use. And it's found in the cytoplasm and the nucleus. And it's kind of doing more, more of the running, right? It takes it from the nucleus out into the, the cell to make the, yeah. make the proteins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, a little thirsty there. A little thirsty, man. I'm just we've been talking here. I need a little bit of water. Oh, wow, well, wow! You must need that for the chemical oh, reactions go. going on in your body. That helps the cell keep its shape and its size, and helps keep the cell temperature from changing rapidly. Okay, so kind of the natural uh, equal equalizer, right? Keeps everything where it should be. Mm-hmm. All right. So we thank you guys for watching. Um, and we'll see you guys along the way. Bye. Bye.